it going, guys? So I figured I'd finally get this YouTube channel started. A lot of people have been wanting me to do this to basically vlog my builds. For a lot of you guys that don't know me, um, I've been building cars for a long time. A lot of stance cars. I used to do race cars back in the day. I've had a lot of fans, a lot of people that follow my builds, people who know me on Instagram. I appreciate you guys. But for the people that don't know me and don't know the current build that I'm doing right now, I just recently purchased a 1995 Porsche 911 C4. In other words, a 993. Appreciate it. You see, you guys give me a compliment on the on the Porsche. I always get this when I drive this car. I mean, it's an air cool classic, so it's, it's, it's <laughs> you're always gonna get that. That's the amazing thing about it. People really, really appreciate the car. As far as the build, if you guys are wondering, uh, I'm going to do an RWV. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna cut it up. You know, that's listen. I didn't buy my. I didn't buy this car to have it sitting in the garage and just watch the appreciation of it. You know, I didn't. I didn't buy it to store it so I could flip it later on and make some money off of it. I've been wanting an RWV for. Oof, it's been clearly over a decade. Um, when I first found out about them, you know, I was a huge fan. But at the time, I wasn't even nowhere near ready to even be able to build it, you know, funds-wise. Like, I just didn't have the money at the time back then. You know, I was, back then I was still on like, you know, building little civics and of that nature. You know, that's what I could do. That's all I could afford really back then. You know, I realized that the amount of money that I've been spending on my recent builds, I did a I had two E46 M3s. I did a full custom one-off wide body M6. Um, you could guys ch could check that out on my Instagram as well. Um, yeah, so I'm just in a way better position now and I finally decided I'm gonna pursue one of my dream builds, which is an RWV. I decided that I'm gonna document the whole process. Um, I'm going to document all the parts that I put on the car. I'm going to document all the shops that I go to. Any, anywhere that I get any type of help or of that nature or whatever towards the car, anything related towards the car or towards the build, I'm gonna I'm gonna document it. So it's basically gonna be like a road to RWB so you can see everything. Even the cost, I'm gonna be very transparent with the cost of things. I'm gonna be, you know, very informative as far as how the process goes. I'm gonna show you how the process goes to even lock it in the kit. I have not locked in the kit yet. I'm actually saving up for the kit. And even the kit starting is like $22,000 for the kit. And for, for the people at home that don't understand or don't know what the RWB is, I mean, you can research this all over the place. If you type it in, you'll see a lot of stuff. But he originally started in, in racing. He was a big top drifter back in the day. Now he, he races occasionally. But he fell in love with the air-cooled Porsches and he created his own wide body kit to basically have a wider track based on the, on the track with the car for better handling and stuff like that in turns and just overall for racing. So the car, the kit is made for racing. RWB is, stands for uh, Raw Weld McGriff, which is rough world concept. And like, that's what Nakai stands by. And I don't know if I mentioned his name is Akira Nakai, but that's what Nakai stands by, rough world, in which he wants the cars to get driven. He wants the cars to get beat on, you know, because he, that's what he enjoys. He enjoys, you know, the racing aspect of it. And what makes this kit so unique, also what makes it expensive is because he flies out himself and builds the car. Yes, and he lives in Japan. That's where his shop is at. That's where he lives. And he flies all over the world. He does about, I think I'm assuming, just over 50 cars for the whole year. So that's almost, what, how many weekends in the year? What is it, 52 or something like that? So. Basically, and it takes him about two days from what I'm hearing. So basically he takes, imagine every weekend, every week, and he flies to a certain part of the world and does a car. And every RWB that you see, every single one that you see, you know, all over the world, he's the one that built it. Nobody else built it. So there's no shops that did it. You know, there's no backyard people, you know, regular like modders like myself that did it put it together this guy is the one that touched and built every single rwb so you know that's a ton of them in japan around the world i don't know what the number is but the number is relatively low compared to the amount of you know porsches or cars you can say out there and it's it's like 
almost in a sense, it's kind of like an exclusive, um, like an exclusive click to be in. So I really want you guys to stay tuned, uh, you know, watch the whole process. I want to share it with you guys. I want you guys to experience it all the way up to the day of when the Kai comes. What's up, guys? Over here at uh, European Auto. Got the owner, Gio, here. Good friend of mine. I've been ordering a lot of parts, especially suspension parts. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, check the bushings and everything. Uh, you know, order everything one time. So I decided to bring it to him. He's going to put it on the lift. We're going to check out the undercarriage of the car. As I mentioned before, I just got the car a couple of weeks ago. So, I mean, I did a PPI and everything. Everything came back really good when I purchased the car. But I still got to check, you know. I still got to just get the list going and order the things I, I need to order uh, for the suspension. Well, as far as just the suspension goes. This is Felipe's car. Pretty sick too. He did the... Uh, he did the conversion, the... Uh, the eight cylinder conversion from the old seven series. There's a lot of Volkswagen guys on this channel and you guys are in the New York area. You're looking for an awesome shop. For you Volkswagen guys, European Auto is the spot. I'm gonna have Gio give me a rundown of the car, see what's going on. <laughs> That's the owner of the the black E30 I showed you guys. Look at this guy. He just looked like he just woke up. This guy, he got a sick uh, bag and all those Benz. Uh, yo, you drove you drove the Benz? Nah. Oh, come on, man. Now you on camera. You on camera now. Until 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 you you actually bring it to work. Yet? No, this is my first time. Okay. First time. You bought it at somebody's house, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's private, no dealer, no nothing. No, nah, private private owner. He had it for about eight years. Okay. Um he didn't really drive the car much, but I took it in for a PPI. It came back real good. Mm -hmm. Uh I took it into uh Pop Singer Reworks. Okay. They do the they do a lot of restoration on custom porches and stuff. Mm -hmm. The guy, the guy who runs it up, uh, Peter Potzinger. Yeah, and um, he said the car was mint, pretty mint. He's, all they needed was a tune-up. He said that's about it. But okay. you know, got it for a real good price. I'm uh, so happy about yeah. it. And um, yeah, so you know, what do you think? What's your opinion on it? I didn't even look at it yet, but as far as cosmetically, the car is gorgeous. Thank you, bro. Thank you. All right, so sway bar lengths is pretty much what gives you stability. Yeah. Take it past turns and stuff like that makes it not wobbly. So, the, the boot for it is completely ripped up. The grease is literally almost all out. So, it's nice to change them. Gotcha. So, I should, so basically sway bar lengths, that's, a, that's one of the parts on the list I should definitely change right now. Yeah. Okay, anything else you're saying? Um, besides that, tie rods are pretty good. Tight, yeah. ball joints, no, no rips in the ball joint, in the boot. Alright, so. Oh, yeah. Your rear shocks are long. You leak at the trunk. You see? So, the wetness? Yeah. Well, that's gonna that's getting changed soon. So, that's all good. So, that's all good. <laughs> KWs, here we come. Uh, yeah, you definitely have a nice foundation to start with. Yeah. So thank you, thank you. Honestly, that's the most important thing. A lot of people try to buy cheap. Yeah. Because they say, oh, I'm going to do all this stuff to it anyway. Yeah. But the whole point is to buy a car that was taken care of before you start doing all this crazy stuff yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, this guy right here, this is this is the guy right here. Well, oh, follow at uh, European.auto. Yes, sir. Um, like I said, you Volkswagen guys, this is the guy to go to right here, man. Uh, JR14, I'm pretty sure you got a lot of you guys know him. Uh, you know, he, you've seen this shop for the people that, yeah, there's a lot, did a lot of work on this car, a lot of work. 
Um, but for the people that don't know, this guy, Geo, you know, this is, this is, uh, well, I mean, European. It says it for itself, European auto. You see a lot of, that's all you mainly see in here. I mean, well, minus that right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he works on anything, man. The guys, you know, the, the, the crew here is amazing. The team here is amazing. Um, yeah, but just bring the car by. If you guys are local, he's in uh, Oceanside. Oceanside, Oceanside, right? Yeah, Oceanside, Long Island. Like I said, check out the Instagram page. You can see all the, all the cars that he works on. Uh, all the info is there. Feel free to call or even email or, you know, hit up for an appointment. As you can see, get a rundown of my car. You're going to see these guys a lot more. When all the suspension stuff comes in, they're doing it. Uh, a lot of, you know, things like that, installing parts, they're going to be doing it. Um, they're, they're really going to be the ones that see this car transform to the RWB. Uh, you know, so stay tuned, guys. About to wrap this up. We're out of here.